What's going on YouTube? Broken Place for Ace here. Uh, this video is basically just going to be about uh, me talking about the decks that I think are going to be good September format up until December. Um, I really want to hear what you guys will be playing for this format uh, and the decks that you guys think will be good. Uh, I'm like I'm going to throw out the decks that I think will be good and they're, they're in no particular order. I'm just throwing them out there. So if I say something first, it doesn't mean it's you know the number one deck I think is going to be played. Or if I say it last, it doesn't mean it's the worst deck I think is going to be played. It's just I'm just throwing them out there randomly. Uh, I think Black Wings are going to be really good uh, this format just because they pretty much have everything back that they had before aside from Gale. But you only really... Well, I mean, you, you, having more Gales would be nice, but you only really need one. Uh, the most important thing was having the Whirlwind back at 3 and the Kaluts back at 3, which you have already. So I think that deck is going to do really good just because you can't really attack any of their monsters. And if you do try and get fancy and get anything out, they have Icarus Attack to get rid of your stuff with. So, um, because of that, I think it's going to be a really good deck. Ujin is going to be really good too. Uh, as of right now, it's a little too slow, in my opinion, um, until the rest of their stuff comes out. But it's still a really good deck. Um, if you have your motto and a Kaiser Coliseum on the field, it's really it's really hard to get rid of that your motto because you have to one up, like, have to like fight it one on one. Which is nearly impossible because they have like three honests and you can't target it and stuff. So uh, that deck's gonna be pretty good. Like I said, right now it's a little too slow, I think, but uh, it definitely has potential. Um, another deck that I think is gonna be pretty good is Hieratic. Uh, the reason for that is because a lot of the back row that hurt that deck uh, is no longer existent or it's at one. Um, because that deck, like, you go, you know, special, 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 and you go for your first autumn, if they got, if they get rid of that autumn, like, with a compulsor or a bottomless or whatever, like, that's it, like, you end your turn, like, that's how that deck works, you either swarm, or they stop you with, like, one trap card, uh, but with all the traps, all the decent ones being li now limited to one, I think it has a lot more potential, and you can main deck things like Decree, which, I mean, the few traps that your opponent has left, you just stop them. So I think that deck definitely has more potential. I and then I also think they're getting, uh, well, it's not specific for them, but I think there's a level six dragon tuner that's coming out uh, soon. I don't know what pack or anything, but it's a level six dragon tuner. So like you just special that, and then you have a Nebeth on the field and can synchro for Star Eater. Um, so it's gonna, it's just, it's gonna have a lot of shenanigans going on. Uh, I mentioned Bujins, Black Wings, Hieratics. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Hot Seller's gonna be good. Um, that deck has a really good stun factor. It hurts a lot of decks. And with Compulse being at 1, the fact that they have Pallades, which is a walking Compulse on either player's turn, is really good. Uh, it just stops a lot of decks. Um, and then they have the potential to run Honest, which is one hell of a card. So I think that deck is definitely gonna be really good. I don't think it topped at YCS Toronto, but I, I don't know. A lot of people have been saying that, like, just the decks that top the white says Toronto, like that's what defines our, you know, the rest of the format where it's just gonna be like Dragon Rulers, Black Wings, Mermel, Evil Swarm, and like some other random stuff. But I mean, that's the first event. Like, there's so many more that uh, events that there's gonna be, and there's just so much potential in this format that you can't really rule out any deck. Uh, White Swarm always has the, the potential to be good. Uh, that's a a deck that just relies on luck pretty much. But the only reason why I think it could have maybe a chance this format is because there's less back row so there's less stuff to stop jd because i mean if they stop jd i mean that's like your win condition so if that doesn't go through then you lose um but again you can main deck stuff like the creed to get rid of a few traps your opponent has left um i'm almost positive i'll miss some decks uh evil swarm still has the potential to be good i mean that deck is a deck where it's only as good as its matchup so if you're playing against something like Dragon Ruler, you're pretty much going to win. Uh, if the Blaster Pop doesn't go through or whatever. Even if the Blaster Pop goes through, you just get another Okinaw. Um, but if you're playing against something like Fire Fist or Bujin or Black Wings, uh, you're in for a challenge because Ophion really doesn't do anything against those decks. Uh, but the thing about Ophion is that, is that it's still a 2550 that you can't get rid of with spells or traps. You have to basically destroy it by battle. And with all the back row that the deck runs, it's still a really uh, tough card to get rid of. So because of that, I think it still has 
potential, you know. I mean, it's still a really good stun card. Um, it's pretty much just like an anti-meta deck. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? I mentioned Bujins already. I don't know, there's just so many, like, it, it, it's hard to name them because there's just so many decks this format that that can be good. Redox Gadgets can be good. That deck is fast as hell. It can still make Dracosack and Big Eye. Uh, pretty much, they can... That deck can make Dracosack and Big Eye faster than that Dragon Plant deck can. Um, it's a deck where it can pretty much control the field, where it can just go balls out and, like, go TK you. Uh, that deck, like, there's just so many decks out there that, that can be good in this format. That's why I want to know what you guys think uh, is going to be, you know, the, pretty much, like, the top decks this format or popular decks that are going to be played. Um, I don't know what you guys are going to be playing. I'm going to be profiling my Evil Swarm deck pretty soon. I don't know if I'm going to stick to that for a while, but it's what I have now. Uh, it's pretty standard. I mean, there's some different stuff in there that I play, but I'll just, I'll have that up in a couple days so you guys can check it out. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much, uh, the end of this video. Just wanted to get that out there. Um, any other videos you guys want me to make talking about certain decks or certain cards or certain like tech choices you can make in certain decks just let me know leave it in the comments below i'll definitely try and get to that and uh yeah so until next time keep it growing